Is it possible to cheat during an online project exam? Is it possible to cheat on Lockdown Browser? Yes, it most certainly is. Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jim O'Hara, and I'm a New Jersey-based online tutor from Reddit, who as of 2022 has over 5 years of experience teaching students how to cheat on an online exam without getting caught, how to cheat on an online project exam, and just how to cheat on a project exam. I know many online exam hacks, online cheating hacks on an exam, and online exam cheating hacks teaching students how to bypass exam proctoring and how to bypass project exams. I regularly upload videos at least once a week relating to online class help, college and university life, my personal life, my life as an online tutor, my two adorable cats, and of course, live unedited videos of me taking online exams for other students, as well as commentary and irrefutable proof that I know how to cheat on an exam, how to cheat on a project exam, how to cheat in an online project exam, and how to cheat on an online project exam with your phone. I also know how to cheat on Lockdown Browser using a Lockdown Browser hack, fully explaining how to bypass exam Lockdown Browser so you can know how to cheat during Lockdown Browser. I have over 5 years experience helping students how to cheat on Respondus Lockdown Browser, how to bypass Respondus Lockdown Browser, how to cheat during Lockdown Browser with no mic, as well as how to cheat on Proctorio, how to cheat on Honor Lock, how to cheat during Honor Lock exam, and how to cheat during Browser Lockdown. Please feel free to text, call, or email me 24-7 if you would like to inquire about my Pay Someone to Take My Online Project Exam for Me services, my Pay Someone to Take My Online Class for Me services, and how to pay someone to do my homework for me services. Thank you for watching this obligatory search engine optimized intro video, and please enjoy this video. Thank you. Okay, for this video, um, I'm going to complete a student's business calculus final exam here on my math lab. Um, I'll show my entire thought process as well as all the apps and software I'll use to calculate the solutions. All right. So um, the exam score will be shown immediately after the exam has been submitted, so you get to see the process of me solving and as well as the grade I'll receive okay business calculus is very simple for me I'm fairly confident that I'll receive an A alright um, this student here uh, I put some of her work see the 100% scores I've got on the homework assignments okay that one the student did it on their own the 16.67% okay 80% okay all right here's some of the scores some of these study scores were not done by me uh, the student hired me initially just to do some last minute homework and then tried to do the rest on their own and then um, they hired me to do some of the exams I did exam two um, they skipped out on exam one for some reason okay so now without further ado let's begin the final exam Exam 3, the students did on their own for some reason. I don't know why they just didn't hire me to clear the whole course. It would have been just easier. But whatever. Okay. Is it final exam? Let's go. Okay. Now find the relative extrema. Let's see, x over x squared plus 100. Thank you. 
Okay. Okay. So, let's see here. What we're looking for relative minimum points and relative maximum points. Minimum is negative 10, negative 1 over 20. Okay. And the maximum is 10, 1 over 20. Okay. Increasing or decreasing? Okay, so we use monotone intervals function. Okay, decreasing is negative 10 to negative infinity. Okay. Decreasing to 10 to positive infinity. Use a comma. Okay. Get increasing. Let's change this. Negative 10 to positive 10. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Inflection points. Concavity. Let's go down here. Concave up on, let's see, negative 10 root 3 to 0. Uh, and the concave up again. Bless me. Ten root three to infinity. Okay. Concave down. Negative infinity. Okay. Okay, and concave down again, 0 to 2, 10, 3. Okay, now inflection point back to that problem. Negative 10 over 3, which is really obvious since the concavity points were at 10 over 3. Negative 10 over 3. Negative 3, negative 3 root 3 over 40. Answer is three. Let's square positive root three over forty. Okay. What else? Cor the graph. Okay. Let's see down here. All right. Looks like that. Find the one that looks like that. C is the only one that looks in that shape. Okay, we're going on to question two.
Okay. Okay. Moving on, question two. DX. Question 2 seems relatively easier than question 1. Question 1 has a bunch of multiple parts. 2x5 minus 9x4. Okay. Plus 8 over x cubed. Okay. Now, this will be 4x5 minus 9x4. Minus 24 over x to the 24. Minus x to the 4. Okay. Alright, um. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, fine. Okay, this is differential equations problem. So let's see, y prime equals 0 0.064 y. equals zero point see here this is equal to that okay 0 0.064 T okay balance out of the two years is times e 0 0.064 times 2 is 
Okay. The doubling time is doubling time. Okay, so two is this ten point eight three. Okay. Question four. P percentage after ten months. One minus E to let's see here. E to negative zero point four one times ten okay ninety eight point three percent okay okay T derivative of a prime of x equals 100 1 minus e to the negative 0 0.41 x okay where x equals 10 okay 0 0.679 Here's 10, 0 0.7, right. e. like that. D is the only one that matches. Okay, differentiate this function. D over dx equals 4x plus 1, 3x minus 3. So negative 3. One X minus one squared. Oh, she's perfect. Now, four X plus one to the four. Question six. here uh, 208 2.08 and the funnel mode was 2.69 
okay. 2011-2013 is two years. Fantastic. Okay, now about calculate the value of 2k. 0. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so six decimal places. All right, so let me just get my calculator and do this myself. This one rounds up to like only five decimal places, and the question specifically asks for six. Five, eight, seven. Or the uh, exponential function of x. 0.08 e to the <clears throat> 0 0.128587 t. Fantastic. And 2015 is yeah, so four years. Four years. Wow. Three point. Let's copy this. Two decimal places. Eight. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's double check 0 0.28. E says 0 0.12858 7 times 4. Okay, good. Yield the same value. When will it be 14 trillion? Okay. 2011 plus 14.828. 14.8, yes. Great. Okay, something simple. 5x minus 1 squared 5x minus x4 cubed okay now put all this into one big bubble okay calculate well okay um, let me just factor this. This is too much. Factor, factor. Let me just factor this one more time just to double check that it can't be that this is the simplest form. And simplified. Okay, here it is. 25x minus 5. Four, 5x minus 4 squared. Yay, baby. Yay, baby. Let's see. And 25x minus 11. Ok, 
Okay. FO3. Eleven minus eleven one fifteen minus twenty nine point three is twenty eight. The demand is cupcakes sells for three dollars each. Twenty eight cupcakes are sold that day. F prime of three that's negative 29. Fantastic. Cupcakes per price per dollar. Lowering the price from 3 to 4 would cause a decrease in the sales. of 29 cupcakes let me double check if this is correct if what Okay, so for three, three to two cupcakes. Okay, three to two. Okay. This is calculus. Question nine. Nineteen ninety two, nineteen ninety five. Let me double check. Okay. Nineteen ninety two. Actually, wait. Let me do nineteen ninety five first. That's thirty five, seven point five. Okay. Minus eighteen, eight point eight divided by. Three. Okay. Mega zero point four three three. Nineteen ninety five to two thousand. Okay. Nine point six to seven point five. Five by five zero point four two. Okay, 1998 to 1992, 8.9 minus 8.8 .8 divided by 6. Fantastic. 0 0.017. Okay. Limit as x approaches 3. <coughs> okay, limit x squared minus x minus 6. Fantastic. And this is x minus 3. First of all, from left. Okay, three plus. And 
5 again. As you approach from the right, A. So therefore the limit obviously is 5. Let me just double check. Okay. B. X minus 2. X minus 2. Okay, X plus 2. So X plus 2, and that is 5. Fantastic. Moving on. X squared plus 7. 8X squared plus 7. Fantastic. And 2X roots. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Factor as much as possible. Okay, on. Wait, hold on. Simplify. Okay, this is a more complicated simplification process. Okay, simplify so this again. Okay, I feel like these simplifications have actually gotten a lot more complicated. Okay, I feel like this is probably the simplest option. Okay. 48x squared plus 20x x to the 3 over 2. Plus 7 over Okay, let's see here. 2x. Square root of 7. Okay, square root of x. Plus 14. Okay, 4 plus 3x plus x squared. Okay, 4 plus 3x plus x squared. Alright, and what am I looking for?
Okay, negative 3, 7, 3 over 2, 7 over 4. Fantastic. Those are minimum points. Okay, monotone increasing. Monotone intervals. Okay. Um, increasing. Negative infinity, negative 3 over 2. Fantastic. Okay. And negative infinity, negative 3 over 2 and positive infinity. Positive infinity. Okay, graph the function. So it's like that. Alright. C. Okay, 2x, two 2x2 two two minus 9. Fantastic. 5x3 plus 7. Okay, and go. Alright, what's the solution? see if this can be factored a little bit more. Okay. Let's see if it can be factored. Ten X cubed. Nice for one thirty five. Minus twenty X. Okay, three, five, three, okay. Okay, fantastic. Okay. Let's see here. Derivative of f of x. Or is nine or okay.
has seven. Oh dear. Okay, okay, okay. Ready to change calculator? Function is zero point eleven W Five hundred to six fifty. Okay, one point four seven three. Three fifty to four fifty. Fantastic. One point two nine. Is the answer. Okay. Average profit. Okay. Here, here. Call revenue is fifty five X nine ten. Okay, minus the cost is seven forty plus thirty two X. Plus zero point zero six three. Well, minus zero point zero six three X two. Fantastic. Whoops. Zero three X squared. Okay. And it's the average profit per belt. Okay. Divided by X. Now simplify. Simplify this. 
Okay. I feel like this cannot be simplified further. Alright, so f of x. <clears throat> Let's calculate this. It's like it doesn't have a maximum or minimum. Interesting. So what is the problem solving? Average profit is changing at okay, average profit is changing. Derivative of Zero point zero six three x cubed. Oh boy. Minus five point five x to the nine over ten. Plus seven forty. Squared. Okay. And it's at 174. Fantastic. to load. <laughs> Zero point zero six eight. Just copy this. Change it to change the five to a six. Belts per dollar. Oh, dollars per belt. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, so it's derivative, the derivative, 92 plus 4x, got it, x equals 2. Okay, 17 is correct. Okay. Let me do the math here. 115000 times 1 plus 0 0.29 to the fourth power. Fantastic. Load, damn. 318. Okay, 461 plus. 
three one. Okay. And this is um, comes out a monthly. Twelve times four. One plus four. Or, oh dear, oh fuck me. Hold the fuck up, I did a mistake. Zero to nine divided by one times one times four. Okay, wow, I'm glad I caught this mistake. One two eight nine three one plus five nine. Okay, now compound it monthly. Twelve, fantastic. Okay, and therefore it's hold on, one two nine one two six plus four five. Okay, compound it daily. Fantastic. Three six. Three six five. Three six five. Delete, delete. Okay. Alright. One two nine. 143 plus 93. Okay, continuously 115 000, zero, zero, zero. E to 0 0.029 times 4. Okay, that's 129 one, one, four, four, plus 52. Okay, the doubling time raise the interest rate. see here Okay, ln2 divided by ln1 plus r 0 0.029 is fantastic, 24.2. Okay, now let me just quickly go back to the doubling rate thing from before.
Session 4. Okay. Alright, let's see here. 0 0.064 Okay, I'm getting a different value. Hmm. That's the process I used, but um, I want to. Zero six four LN two fuck that was zero point zero six four. Okay. Hmm. What I got seems a uh, few forget it. It's just one little part of the problem. Let's just move on. Wait, hold on. What am I doing? Brush nineteen. I'll skip ahead. Alright. P zero. 0 0.063 Yay, let's move on bro 0, 0 0.063T Hundred dollars is investment. Invested. Zero point zero six three times one. Okay. Five three two point five one. After two years is five six seven point one four. Rate of change after your ones is. Okay, here it is. Derivative of f of x equals oh boy. Zero point zero six three times x at x equals one. Well, that's 
for your Okay. Oops. To the fifth power. That was yours. Okay. That's one of yours. Fantastic. Dollars per year. Thirty seven point seven three. Thirty five point seven three. Fantastic. Now moving on to the last question. Oh, finally something simple. Expand the expression. Okay. Expand. 6x plus 5. Five x squared plus two. Okay. Now d dx of this value here. x plus 12. Okay, so this is the last problem. I'm going to submit the exam and we'll see the score that we got. Alright, submit test. Yes, I want to submit. Okay, 90.58%, so an A minus. Not bad. Okay. Well, this concludes this video. Thank you for taking the time to watch me complete this business calculus final exam for one of my students for the spring 2022 semester. Um, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.